All right, here we go. Number 15 from our college algebra, homework number four in our MyLab math. It says that it wants us to use synthetic division to determine whether the numbers are zeros of the polynomial function. And so here they give us negative four and three. They want us to check to see if those two numbers are zeros of this function. And so when we're using synthetic division over here, what we're looking for is a zero remainder. So notice I've already got my synthetic division set up. I've got my coefficients, 2, 3, negative 14, and 24 written down here. And we're going to check number um, negative 4 first. So remember the first step in synthetic division is the 2 drops down, and then you multiply. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, and then add them up. Negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5 and then multiply, and then add, and then multiply, and then add. And so negative 4 is, is a 0 because it got a 0 remainder. Now we're going to check 3 to see if 3 is a 0. So again, the 2 drops. 3 times 2 is 6, and 9. 3 times 9 is 27. 27 minus 14. Let me grab my handy dandy calculator just to make sure. That is 13 times 3 is 39. And that is definitely not 0. I don't even care what it is. I just know that it's not 0. And so 3 is not a 0. And so let's see what our choices are over here. The number negative 4 is not, no, negative 4 and negative 3 are zeros. No, that's not true. Neither negative 4 nor 3 is a zero. The number negative 4, okay, here we go. Negative 4 is a zero because negative 4 was zero. Remember from our previous example, we know that the function value is the remainder from the synthetic division. And 3 is not a 0 because that remainder was, oh, I need to know what it is now. Crap. So 39 and 24, that is 63. And let's see if I'm right. So yeah, got it. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below. Or you can text me. And thanks for watching.